Hey everybody, here's some pics and clips from my trip out to the Ventana Double Cone. Okay, here we are at the summit of Devil's Peak. Nice little mile hike up as a bear. Looking towards the Pacific and Pico Blanco and the Double Cone and the Ventana Window. And that's where we're heading. So now we'll go this way till we hit Pat Springs. I'll check in with you at the meadow. Okay, a little past Devil's Peak, you start coming into this area with, you really see the remnants of the fire. Um, get some, start to get some views over there towards Carmel Valley. But these old burnout posts, pretty much right around here was where the Big Pines Trail Junction is. But <clears throat> at least the entrance of it is really rough. So hopefully um, there's been a lot of work done with the Alliance and volunteers and all this stuff. So. Maybe they'll clean that out soon, but you just want to keep going um, straight, and you only got a couple miles to go to Pat Springs. So it's real beautiful through this next stretch. Uh, enjoy. Okay, and here we are at Pat Springs, and I this is the very first campsite you run into. I don't even think it's official since there's not a U.S. Forest Service grate, but there's a nice uh, firing that somebody made, and it's just you got epic views of uh, the double cone right here, getting closer and closer and views of the ocean i'll take another clip from up up this little ridge here there's plenty of camping site the one big site up top there really good views of the ocean and everything um i've never camped at this little site so i decided to give it a try and then if you go down where the sun is right there if you follow that down there's a nice big campsite with actually a picnic table too um under a bunch of live oaks and you can see we're in the distance there and right under we've got the ponderosa pines very cool and live oak <laughs> and uh it's just fantastic up here okay so here is the the main big camp at the top of the hill uh for pat springs i mean excellent views and then looking towards the ocean, yeah, this, you know, it's just my iPhone, so I don't know how good you can see this, but there's Pico Blanco right there. Um, just, just fantastic up here. And there's one site for a tent right down there on the ridge. It's just perfect. And then if you turn around here, plenty of room. And you even get some views over past those trees towards Carmel Valley and the ranges out there. And there's another site behind those trees that's, I think it's an unofficial site, but it's tucked in the trees there, and there, I know there's a fire ring there. 
Um, so here you go. This is one great. And here we are at the spring. And there's the little trail we just took from that gap. It's, you know, it's, it's nothing, 100 yards or so, 150 yards. Um, so again, I mentioned this, this thing runs, you know, they built a water catch for it. There's two pipes running straight into the mountain, pumping the good water out. Um, I still use my Steri pen to zap it, even though I'm, you know, there's some funky looking algae that grows in there. I almost think it's probably good for you, if anything, just because it's grown in the pure. But anyway, there you go. Uh, super convenient source of water. If this thing wasn't here, it'd be really tough to do these these hauls out here in the summertime, especially in the in the winter and the early spring. There's creeklets you can get water from, but most of the year, all of the backpackers depend on this for uh, fill up before hitting the cone. Um, there you go. clips of the camp and the summit hopefully if it's not completely clouded over but uh we're close a couple miles okay here we are at the summit yay boo we walked right into a rain cloud um, it was partially clear most of the way up here, so I got some great views, but now the rain feels good, the, the misty rain, but it, you can't see, I mean, I know what's out there, just every drainage and watershed, 360. I'm going to hang out, I'm going to find a little hole to hunker down in <laughs> and see if it clears out in an hour or so. Okay, yay. Okay, here I am back at the double cone since we got rained out yesterday. I came back with my newfound crazy friend, Josh. Yeah. All right, Josh, who he even gets crazier. He goes out there and he was on the tip of that right side of the window, which you couldn't pay me enough money. Well, maybe, I don't know how the sun is hitting this, but I mean, you've got views of every peak and watershed everywhere make sure i don't fall off this little rock so fantastic perfect weather i'm glad i came back josh is talking me into climbing up the the north cone just because it's right there and we're here but he's also a madman <laughs> 